Champs, I have a task for you. You have to observe the moon from one full moon day to the next. But with that, you have to sketch the moon every night in your notebook. Along with that, every night note the part of the sky in which moon is seen. Champs, note that the time period between one full moon day and next full moon day is slightly longer than 29 days. In many calendar, this period is known as a month. But learning this concept made me more curious about why this phases of moon occurs. Do you want to know? As we already studied in chapter number 16 that the moon does not produce its own light. We are able to see the moon because when sunlight falling on it, it gets reflected towards us. This is the reason we are able to see only that part of the moon from which sunlight is reflected towards us. Let's do an activity to understand this concept clearly. Champs, you have to take a big ball like this. After this, paint this ball in such a way that its half part white and half part appears to be black. Now, go to the playground with two of your friends. After this, in this playground, you have to draw a circle of radius about 2 meter, like this. Champs, divide this circle in 8 equal parts same as shown here. Champs, you know what? After this, tell one of your friend to stand at the center of the circle. After this, tell to your another friend to hold this ball at different position of the circle. As you can see here, if it is morning time, then the ball should keep towards the east. If it is afternoon time, then ball should keep towards the west. After this, tell to your friend when she is standing at the center of the circle, observe carefully the visible white portion of the ball. After this, tell her just draw all the shapes at different points of the circle. As you can see here, the moon appears different at different position in its orbit. I hope with this simple activity, you all understand this concept very well.